I'm Monica. And wouldn't you love to train in five minutes, like your whole body, upper body, lower body, and core? This is exactly what I'm going to do. In less than five minutes, with a ball, a yoga mat, and optional dumbbells, okay? And I'm going to assume you're warmed up, you've been walking around, maybe dancing a little bit. And this is something that I use and that I've taught thousands of my students to use that really works. I love efficiency. Okay, make the best of your time. So time is never, ever, ever, ever again an excuse for not training, okay? So the first thing you can do besides bouncing the ball and having some fun and maybe some mobility that you probably are doing because I've been teaching you, and remember I have some coaching for you. You put the ball on the wall or on the door, wherever it's comfortable, and you actually push towards it with your lower back your feet are going to be hip width apart, and you're just going to lower and do some squats here, okay? So how about nine reps and two? And here you could use the optional dumbbells if you want. Go down as deep as you can. Look forward and up. And you could even stay here for fun. <laughs> I like to vary. Variation makes it fun. <laughs> See, and it really works. And it keeps your back straight. You see me sideways here. Look, it's like a Smith machine at the gym. Only better, because you need to use your balance. Your true balance. Okay. And then, we're gonna go on the mat. Actually sit on the ball. For this, I would use my dumbbells because I am gonna do upper body. But there's many variations I can teach you so that you don't have to. And you can just do other moves that work for your hips. And so much efficiency, like if you don't have dumbbells, I'll show you after I do dumbbells, okay? Or just get, of course, two bottles of water, maybe two sacks of brown rice or beans, <laughs> whatever you like. <laughs> Whatever you have around works. The important thing is to have some weight. And it all depends on you, so I can't tell you how much to lift because I have no idea how strong you are already. Okay, so you can do these shoulder presses. I like to do biceps curls, I like these hammer curls that are really good. And when you're actually sitting on the ball, you need to use your core. So all the time we're using our abs, low back, pelvic floor, and many very subtle but most important muscles of our body that keep our balance, our stability. And yes, it's good to be bare feet over the mat. Okay, I don't know how many I did, but you can do six to nine, eight to 12. It really doesn't matter. There's so many protocols and it's what works for you. That's why I'm so flexible and Putting these down because now I'm going to show you what you can do if you don't have dumbbells wherever you are. You do push ups like these <laughs> that also work your abs a lot. This works your chest, your triceps, your core, like I said. Oof, feels so good. And also, upper back gets a good workout. And yes, there's many possibilities for you to do it in an easier way, like even with a wall, <laughs> and you could do it harder. But this is just one of my many options. But you know, time is running out, so I just leave you with this. And for fun, you could do some stretches like this that really help your lower back. So there you have it, no excuses. Check out the links, DM me, and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See? <laughs> you can do it.